He's back! G'day! I'm Swans legend Darren Cresswell. No, I'm not. Wait. I'm James Clements, and I'm the host here of the AFL Today Show. I'm joined, as always, out here making footy a little bit more fun. A couple of local ding guy, AFL experts, basically just full-blown footy nuts. There's social guy Leo over there. G'day, Jim. I'm feeling uh, <laughs> up and about today. I think more switched on than stats guy, because he was a bit off it uh, earlier. So, the other guy here, stats boy, <laughs> Liam McCallion, he's just... It's having, it's like he's having constant mini strokes. <laughs> that's like, right. It's I, weird. I'm that's learning like it from that. you. Uh, you used, like to smell burnt toast a lot from uh, from a few different smell, things. Smell, so. taste, both. Smell, just smell. Uh, just that's smell. all. But yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm ready to go. I'm fired up for the AFL Today Show. It's all good. Well, the thing is, what is it? It's round 10. When you've hit yeah, double what? figures, wow. you're in the, you know, the creamy middle of the AFL season, right? Mm. And uh, it is the moment where you're like, all right, we have a very clear set of tiers, contenders, pretenders, all that sort of gear. But the thing is, this is when footy gets awesome. It's just constant. All <laughs> week, you're just right there in amongst it. Just Again, it's the Homer in the donut machine. Footy, 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 footy. footy. <laughs> and then if you listen to Wednesday's show, when they take away Thursday night footy, I'm just going to be even angrier. Yeah. This is just annoying. Yeah, anyway, very angry. The good thing is footy's back. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and, uh, of course, all of all our social networky goovers. What do we got? X. <laughs> Facebook. IG. TikTok, all the fun stuff. It's right there. <laughs> Let's do some news before we get into the Thursday teams. Uh, stats boy, you got some stats here on some possible concussions. Why, Let's do it. why not? reporting? Yeah, we get a bit of nerve reporting. 12% of the uh, AFL on this report and 10% of AFLW, they did a bit of a survey on concussions, are not reporting possible concussions. So that's a bit of a worry. I think they interviewed 300 people. What if uh, people across... didn't report it in the interview? What if people, well, exactly. what what if, what if people <laughs> talked into their microphone? Yeah. Like, yeah. Am I not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think your chest yeah, is, yeah. Like, you're just immersing your microphone in chest hair <laughs> and talking into the top of your laptop. It's very strange. <laughs> that's a very good point. That have you, have you done a podcast before? No. Is this your first so. one? Debut. <laughs> He's only done 87 million episodes of Cricket Today and he can't talk into a mic. I know. That, that was a bit strange. The 12% anyway. and 10% of AFL players. Players, AFLW players. Out of the people interviewed, yeah. Which it's is a, a big worry, yeah. Pretty big sample size as well, right? Not reporting concussions, and obviously there's a massive concussion problem at the moment. I feel like it's more than ever. I don't know if it's yeah. just because they're being more cautious of it or something like that. Last year was only 9%, so it's going up apparently every year. Mm. People are reporting it less. I think it's because you're spending more time out each year. They're sort of upgrading the amount of time out. But surely with all the things going on, you're going to go, oh, crap. CTE, so many people uh, coming to the AFL after they've retired, uh, or Driscoll from the Dogs just retiring. Surely once yeah. you have a couple of concussions, you're like, all right, I'm going to say something. Like, Surely if you get like oh. any sort of hit. Or a head like, knock, yeah. yeah. I feel a bit wobbly. Yeah. You just do something about oh, that. That's, you don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Mm. Gross. Anyway. I mean, that's, I mean, you know, that's <laughs> quite literally the reason I went, yeah, I'm not going to play footy anymore in year exactly. nine. Exactly. I got knocked out, <laughs> flat out cold, oh. woke up and went, yeah, that's enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Juice. Anyway. Uh <laughs> Speaking of other sooks, Chris Scott wants more recognition for the minor premiers. I read that before, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the headline is actually... <laughs> 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 oh, but when he finished on top of the radar, it was just like, no one cared. No one cares. Yeah, because no one actually cares. Yeah. Like, it's not the EPL where it's like, oh, that's yeah. the title. It's like, yeah, cool. We'll say the NBA, NFL. We finished with the best record in the entire league. So no one cares. that's what the one seed's for. Yep. That's what you've got an easier path to the grand final for. Oh, we need you to just blow smoke up our rear end for a little bit more about how great we are. Why? <laughs> no one cares. Shush, Chris Scott. Shush. Anyway, speaking of other AFL coaches, they want a national reserves competition. I actually like this idea. Yeah. yeah it's I also a bit too. weird because it's like national reserves. Okay. We're just going to figure out how we get folks to and from stuff. I think there should literally just be a completely standardised B league, basically, right? Of yep. the, the only thing is just questions: is WRFL and SNFL get massive crowds and they have these big fan bases? Would that get rid of a few like of these big clubs or and things like that? That's the only thing. I feel like every other state would go, yeah, let's do it. Because to be honest, I think yeah. you just keep everybody and just go, we're making it like a thirty team comp. You like, could. Let's go. It already is VFL. It's a massive comp. Already. Exactly, it's already yeah. massive. So yeah. I think roll with it. Keep it as an actual national. I don't mind. Probably. I think it will help the uh, league if you actually got. That you're one team. There's because some teams have like two you or can three travel teams. together. You can yeah, travel mm. together and stuff. Yeah. Also, did you pronounce waffle as spelling it out? Like I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that. I did actually. Yeah. 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 Waffle. Waffle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's weird. Good. It's because yeah. I should have said sandful and waffle. Yeah. 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 That, and that you said S A N F L. Yeah. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, so also, yeah. The other bit of news <laughs> was uh, apparently we're trying to fix everything that's broken about the AFL. Oh, too now, many changes. My entire point has been I've already fixed this by just going right. Or we let 
All we need to do is let every single AFL player fight one single fan each year. That's a great fix. That's yeah. going to fix 95% of our problems, yep. right? Social media, sorted. Problems at the game, sorted. The other 5% are literally like we're making stuff up at this point, but at the same time, the 5% is probably usually umpire-related. <laughs> the rest of it just seems like we're looking for stuff to fix. Yeah. The 666, we need to fix it. Why? Yeah. To be honest, when you mm. restart a game and it's a really close game, 666 six, six is yeah. amazing because yes. it literally becomes an arm wrestle mm -hmm. between who are your best dudes yep. right now. You can't load up the back and go, we're not going to let you kick. It's like, well, you can't do anything about it until you guys get there now. Yep. Sucked in. It's, it's good. awesome. It yeah. makes a lot of like – the importance on the center bounce, which was gone before. It was exactly. gone because you could just put 20 guys behind the ball. Yeah. yeah. And the other one is like rock nominations. That's still weird. But that at the same time. Bring back third man up. That was I cool. Third, third man up. up. Yeah, Daniel yeah. Wells was the specialist for North. He used to kick goal, karate kick goals and stuff yeah, like loved that. Loved it. The other one is shorter quarters. Like, just, That's the thing they brought up today. Just speed yeah. it up. Like it's fine. Like what are we doing? But we've yeah. kind of figured this out, right? Like we took, we're looking at the, I think the first five rounds were super, super long. Now we've sort of figured out the score reviews. We're speeding that up to a degree, which is making things a lot easier. We haven't really, really like yelled about that for a couple of weeks, mm. which is good. So I think I don't think we need to go searching for stuff to no. fix when there's so much I think that we're already fixing at the moment. Well, especially yeah. when the last two seasons in AFL have been the biggest attendance ever. Exactly. Ever. So just don't change things and everyone will keep turning up. If you're going to fix stuff, just keep Thursday night football. Yes. It's not rocket surgery. <laughs> oh, it's 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Strap in. Go listen to yesterday's show for all of the yelling about the yes, Thursday night footy yes. thing. I think it's a very well-structured argument <laughs> and a very loud <laughs> argument that just keeps going. So, Anyway, Thursday night footy, it's about to start in about an hour. Uh, Gold Coast Geelong, has this line changed at all there, Stats Boy? Yeah, one. So it was minus four and a half yesterday. I'm, I'm actually surprised it hasn't swung towards Gold Coast being favourites, but yep. Geelong are still favourites, yeah. A lot of the tips I've seen have been Suns. They are, I think, when I was looking at tips.com.au, maybe when I was popping mine in, I still mm -hmm. think Geelong were the people who sort of backed Geelong. 85% on lots of crazy. sites. That, that seems way too heavy, I think. Anyway, the over under 161 and a half, TIO Stadium tonight. Um, start of Sir Doug Nichols round, which is fantastic. Um, it has been very, very cool to see, obviously, the name changes as well. Yep. Where they come with the original Indigenous name. Very cool. Very nice. Uh, for this, we don't have we don't anything have for Gold Coast or no. Geelong. So. No. The next, <laughs> Not yet, but we will. I think they year. spread it out over weeks, right? Don't they? No, sometimes? no. Some teams oh. don't do it. The last year. Only they did last year. No? Nah, not every team did it last year. Cool. Anyway, it's a bit weird. Tips. I'm still sticking with my sons by 13. Leo? Uh, Suns by three. This Ooh. will be very congested uh, up there in because the, of the greasy conditions. Oh, yes. Greasy, yeah. greasy. Did, you, did I say that yesterday? I don't think I did. <laughs> we need a greasy counter. Yeah, <laughs> greasy, greasy, greasy. Suns by 10 <laughs> because of that reason. <laughs> Friday, my beloved Carlton travel to Sydney where they do not win. No, uh, they don't at really, all. Yeah. The Swans are 13 and a half point favorites. That's top of the ladder, Sydney Swans. If you haven't heard, nobody talks about them and a lot of people win about how us. no one talks about them. While talking about them. Do they don't seem to see the irony about this. <laughs> Sydney are fantastic, but I think Alex's point that he made yesterday, and so we had Lachlan McCurdy from Coast Sports yep. on yesterday's show yep. as well. It is hilarious how like everything down here is like, Essendon are back! <laughs> it's like they're third. Yeah. Sydney are on top of the ladder, eight and one. And There's a lot of Sydney fans in Melbourne teams. as well. you got South yeah. Melbourne, obviously, yep. yeah. Uh, the over-under in this one is 170.5. SCG tomorrow night. Carlton do not win there. They last won in 2019. They've lost nine of the last 10 there. They really hate going there. I've got a big uh, group of Carlton mates that are actually going there. So Gross. they're like, I'll be like, what, well, you want to see another loss there? What are you doing? <laughs> it would be see, pretty hey, fun. Hey, kids, want to see a dead body? <laughs> it's like, that's what it is. Because, uh, look, very similar to how Carlton play Melbourne and they've never beaten them in my lifetime, I think, uh, the same thing goes for Carlton and Sydney. Like they beat them there in 2019. Aside from that, I think the last time they beat them there was 1982. So, <laughs> so maybe, before, before maybe. I was born. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is crazy. Like Carlton Sydney last year was the absolute nadir of the Carlton season, essentially. Started with the Sydney loss, probably finished at that Essendon loss, King's birthday weekend. So exactly yep. around this time. It feels like, a, <laughs> like this could be an absolute walloping of Carlton. Um, because let's do some teams. Yes. Sydney, in comes Braden Campbell. Matt Roberts goes out. Like for like replacement there, I reckon. Checks out. That's not too bad, yeah. For Carlton, the walking wounded. They lose Lucky Cowan. Moo! Cotters is out as well, my fellow Ginger. Adam Chera. What a surprise twist. Oh, he injured. always is injured. And, and Jack, Jack Mark. He's always injured as well. It's a crisis at Carlton. It's a crisis. What are they doing it's, it's there? pretty good robber, I'm just saying. Uh, it was all right. Uh, Port <laughs> <the> Moon. <laughs> Isn't that right? That's my, that's the, my uh, robber impression. <laughs> the Carlton soft tissue injuries, this is actually becoming a legitimate real concern hmm. where week on week there's training mishaps and problems at training. 
Train too hard. A, do don't maybe, train, maybe. Do we maybe need to fix Icon <laughs> Park and that grass a little bit? Maybe we'll send Matt Rowe, the grass specialist. <laughs> he just eat a bit. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's off, boys. It's off. <laughs> Good. I'll show you this. Oh. There's a hint of turmeric about this. Uh, in comes Caleb Marchbank, which is pretty good. Zach Williams, which is just a roll of the dice, if you ask me. It's like, we've got lots of injuries. Who are we relying on? Zach Williams. Jack Carroll's here. That's perfect for Supercoach. I just realised that, that he's still on my bench. <laughs> How do you still have Jack Carroll? Oh, no. A bit sad. Don't worry about it. Right. Orazio Fantasia as well. Yeah, that's not a good in. He's been it is horrible. a tough one. So the only... Upside, I guess, for Carlton in this game is the fact that you do have Harry Mackay and Charlie Curnow against a Swans backline that will be missing Tom McCartan. Mm-hmm. So yep. it is a little bit light on, but they still have Dane Rampey, Nick Blakey. It's, you know, flashbacks to last year of just the Lizard just storming off the halfback flank, just Scaring. dissecting mm. dissecting the Carlton midfield time and time again. Um, the big question here is could the Blues <laughs> injured 22? You can actually basically build a Carlton team out of their injured players at this point. I don't think you could. Just about. <laughs> Would they beat North? I'm just saying. Oh, I, I I am a North supporter, obviously. I'm going to say no, but there is a lot of big outs. They're not going to beat. No, definitely oh, not. There's no. So no, Jack just, Martin, Chera, Sard, Chera, uh, Chera uh, Doherty. Where's the key like, forwards? Where's the key back? Fogarty, Who's kicking goals? Yeah. Fogarty's going <laughs> to kick eight. Fogarty's smaller than Stats. Super will kick 10 and we'd win by. 80. That'd be interesting. Anyway, no, it would be actually pretty close. I'd admit. No, that. it wouldn't. It wouldn't. <laughs> We're not Let really bad. Serious. All right, that's enough Carlton talk. We need to talk about Sydney, remember, because they have yes. beaten Melbourne, yes. Collingwood, Essendon, and GWS already. This is another top eight team that they're playing. They're fine. I don't think Carlton will be top eight for long after this game because I believe Sydney are going to absolutely smash my beloved Blues. It breaks my heart. But also, that's how it goes. I think <laughs> we're going to go to Sydney. It's going to be a grind. Carlton are going to look all out of shape, all out of sorts. And. I don't think Charlie and Harry will get off the leash at all, even okay. without McCartan. And I think the Swans win it by 62. 62. That I is the is abs- reverse mock if I've ever seen it. I know. No, they're they're going to win by 62. No, nah, they're definitely not. I don't think they're going to win no. by 62. I think they <laughs> are how, how they get, that's a bit. I know they've got lots of outs, but surely they keep it closer than 62. I think it gets ugly real quick. We saw, so you think about the Sydney Essendon game earlier this year, and now it just like Sydney just piled it on mm. and they piled it's on five really goals, quickly. Though. It's just like, I think that could happen pretty quickly too. So. Okay. Stats boy? Uh, I'm going Swans by 22. I think 22. I think they'll uh, be up by that sort of margin all the way through, and you're like, Swans won this pretty comfortably, but it didn't blow out because you still got a decent team. Carlton, so. Yeah, it'll be competitive. Like, yeah. Carlton have a, still a very strong side, and they just love a close game. Yeah, they Jim do. Knows. Yeah, I feel like we use that every Thursday night show. Carlton love a close but game. But they do. Every, <laughs> every week they're playing really close games. I think we'll have the uh, – if we had the heart monitor on me this week, I'd just be like eight tins deep. Just guys, <laughs> do not care. We're getting smashed. Why is it this heart monitor not working? It's just <laughs> – <laughs> What have we got the Paramount <laughs> Plus subscription? Yeah, yeah. He's gone to sleep. Uh, Saturday. <laughs> Collingwood. The hated pies. Uh, against the Crows. It's the Bird Bowl. <laughs> I love a good Bird Bowl. I've never heard that one. That's a good one. The Bird Bath, it could be, because I think... The Bird Bath. I don't know, Adelaide. They're 19 and a half point underdogs. I don't think it should be that uh, mm. far out. I think no, this should be under not. 10 points, personally. 145 of the MCG, because we don't play 210 games anymore. Uh, the over-under is 167 and a half. The Goey comes back in for the pies. Let's look at some other ins and outs. For Collingwood versus Kuwana, Kuwana you got that's Schultz that's and Degoe Schultz. coming back in for the Paz in place of Jeremy Howe and Jack Bytel. Uh, for the Grows, Lachlan Murphy and Will Hamill. Josh Worrell, that was a big out, actually. Yeah, well, he's been arm, good. I went to school with him. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Are you best mates? I wish. Could you call him now? <laughs> call him now. No, I can't. I, can't. I, I, I can message him on Instagram, but he <laughs> probably won't supply. Yeah, won't okay. reply. <laughs> and Dan Curtin, after not exactly lighting yeah, it up. He, was, he hasn't been great, but I still think he'll be all right in the future. I thought uh, he said Shoal was omitted. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're off your head, stuff. Hey, but. did I say that on camera? No. Uh, Dagoe's <laughs> back in after a, uh, look, we're not going to say trip to Bali. We're not going to say, geez, remember how like <laughs> there was like reporting of oh, injuries no. that were cover for like cam- interesting, injuries. interesting samples? I don't know. No. Dagoe's back. He's back, though. <laughs> no, Pies fans will be I'm sure now. it's all clean, folks. Uh, Radelaide, however, <laughs> lost their last eight games of the MCG and nine against the Pies. Mm. Tough one, stats boy. They hate playing stats against, there? Yeah, they hate playing against the Pies. Last win against the Pies was in 2017, so that's a, a long while back. really close last but year. Both games were really close last year. They lost by one point and two points. And uh, Adelaide fans, yeah, I think they uh, – yeah, umpires cost I think the, the one in the one in Adelaide, Johnny Noble, who's playing his 100th game, he, killed he kicked the, the winning goal. He did, actually, yeah. yes, yeah. Our beloved Johnny Noble. Actually, is he is he's 100th, 100th this week? game. That's oh, what it says right there. Oh, we love that. He's that's awesome. up. That's Just great. read stats, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels like Adelaide, though – 
have a chance here, right? Because yep. Collingwood are beset by injuries still. Yep. Uh, no Meyer check. I found a little of, bit of form, Adelaide. You sort of look at their forward line, you're like, it's a lot of Finn McRae. And he was very good last <laughs> week against the Eagles. Ah, he's not going to be good But this that week. was the Eagles. Yeah. That was another bird ball. Bobby Hill. This is a better bird ball. Yeah. It's at the G. Bobby Hill's starting at centre-half forward. It's a very small Apparently. forward line. <laughs> or full forward, sorry. Full forward. Schultz Hill. helps. Dugowie helps. <laughs> but otherwise, I kind of think I don't mind Adelaide in this. Adelaide by two. I think we have another close Ooh, game. Oh, really? I think they somehow sneak it out. Okay. Big Tex bombing one in from outside 50 perhaps to win the game in a famous win at the MCG. Uh, but between Rochelle and Rankine and stuff like that, the sort of balance of the Adelaide – Forward line. It'd be really fascinating to see how it actually goes. At the Fog looked good the last couple of weeks. He's finally found some form. Yeah. They were all at Adelaide Oval, though, weren't they? Most yeah, of the the lo- a, a lot of these Adelaide so. players lift at the Adelaide Oval and exactly. then they go away. So, and they're like, oh, this is a big play. test. It's mm. a really big test because, like, their entire season, it doesn't exactly hinge on this, but it kind of does. No, nah, it does. So probably. let's see what happens. I'm going to go Adelaide by two. Leo? I think Pies by six. Ooh. I think the under will hit as well. Both yep. like the small Collingwood forward line. Crow's back line has actually been impressive this season. It has, yeah. And yeah. forward line a bit shaky. So I think the under will hit and pies by six. Ooh, I'm going pies by 15. I think, yeah, I got to back up at the MCG. If this was at Adelaide Oval, I'd probably be tipping Adelaide. That would mean too bad. But Just I'm can't trust the them away. Can't Ooh. trust them away. Can't so the crumb. Going, can't the, the crumb. <laughs> Let's go to the crumb. All right, GWS versus the Western Bulldogs at NG. <laughs> NG. I love NG. It's the... First game back at home, I believe, this one, isn't it, for the GWS yes. after the show? Uh, 4.30 on Saturday afternoon, GWS are 14 and a half point favourites, and you're now listening to the BBC. <laughs> uh, 179 <laughs> over under. That was good. I should do that more often. Uh, GWS have slipped. They've lost three of the last four. Yeah. Good time to go home, I think, and especially against their hated rival. They hate each other, these two. The Western Bulldogs. Yep. What are we going to do? See some Toby Green. <laughs> <laughs> karate <laughs> kicks and stuff. Go out there, do some jujitsu. We targeted Bont one game and got him got him injured. And got, there's been so many reports in these this matchup. I, I love watching these two Thing battle is, it out. In terms of the ins and outs for GWS Giants and the Western Bulldogs, Xavier Halloran and Jacob Weir come Ooh. in for Ash and Kelly. That was one that we talked about yesterday, the injuries. Uh, Caleb Daniel comes in for Jason oh. Johannesson. Bevo's favourite player. He's back in. <laughs> he might Daniel. be sub. He is on the <laughs> he extended probably will bench. Be sub. Actually, that actually, that is the big question for him, this one. Him and Jack McRae are on the extended bench. Oh. Wow. Who will get Bevo? That's the big question for this one. Uh, uh, that's a good question. E- everyone. everyone. How about just Rory Love for just being emergency? <laughs> well, <laughs> he, he shouldn't be in the he's, team. He's no, he's being constantly bevo yeah. yeah. Consistent Bevo. He's just always um, being bevo He's Like, just imagine being Rory Lobb at home. He's like, what am I doing? He's got his uh, Why partner did I making come here? VFL what is, TikToks. He's, he's, what is his bevo partner having? is like roasting him on TikTok, which yeah. is which is. Yeah. He goes along with it. It's, he's it's a, weird. He's, they're very weird. Yeah, rude. rude Under <laughs> the thumb. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> love that Rory Lobb. No, nah, look, that's great. That's just the sign of a healthy relationship. <laughs> a banter, uh, yeah, that's you right. got some stats there, stats boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, why not? Dogs, they've won the last two matches at NG Stadium, however you NG. say it. They've won five of the last six meetings, so they, they really lift for this matchup because, as I said, they hate the Giants. Uh, it is second versus the third offenses in the league. Obviously, the dogs bumped up their... Uh, the dogs uh, have a top four offense. Because of last now, week's oh, week. So, so yeah. last week bumped Forgot up. They're still uh, probably... Richmond doesn't count. I think they were still like seventh North or something. Count. So they've pumped... They've still been pretty good. So just be interesting to see if this is a really high-scoring game with that pretty high over-under of 179. Yeah. They are two pretty fun forward lines, right? Between yeah. Jamara, Norton and Curry versus... Giants haven't been... Toby, too Jesse good at scoring lately. Like so. mm. It's an interesting one. Uh, we didn't actually ask the big question for Collingwood Adelaide, but it was basically like... I, I brought it up. I said umpiring. about the umpires. Adelaide blamed the umpires last year for two games, so yeah, they can blame that. another one anyway. Let's see it bounce back the other way. But I think GWS win this. Yep. 15 points. I think they just sort of eke it out. It's going to be – one of, like they expect a huge crowd for this, right? Because it's like they love – they've completely identified like the fact that the Thursday uh, – the Saturday Arvo game is like they're bang on, get yep. everyone out there. They should smash it. I think they sort of get around this even despite losing Kelly and Ash. I think they, yeah, just sort of eke it out. Should be really fun. Jesse game. Hogan's 150th. He might, yep. he might kick a bag. Yep. So that's why who you taking? Uh, I'm going Giants by nine. These should just love a close game. Usually, yeah, I'd probably tip the dogs because they have re- re- go really well in this matchup, but I'm going the Giants. they got to bounce back, surely. Yeah, Giants just have too much talent, and I don't think the dogs can play well twice in a row. <laughs> twice and in also, row. I don't know if it's playing well if it's against Richmond. That's a good Does call. it count? Yeah. No, it doesn't count. They That's actually the, didn't even get points on the ladder for it. That's the right answer. I like that. <laughs> Brisbane, Richmond. Oh. Hey, this sucks. This entire Saturday night, it's a tough one. Uh, Brisbane, 
46 and a half point favorites against the Tigers. Her oh boy, they have also been smash rated by uh, injuries. They bring back Camden McIntosh, Steely Green, the what third name. best name in the AFL. Steely Green. Shadow Brain, still number one. Shadow Brain is cool. Kay McAuliffe comes in. Our man Al Payton's uh, favorite rookie. And uh, <laughs> Matty Coulthard, like David Coulthard's little brother, got a big box head too. Sam Banks, Maurice Morioli. <laughs> Maurice. <laughs> Maurice. <laughs> Maurice. Maurice Rioli. Rioli, Jack Graham, and Seth Campbell. <laughs> Maurice. Uh, this is always no, the hardest part of the show, Jim Brown. I'm just <laughs> lucky that eyes isn't playing. Yeah, Trezzy. <laughs> Trezzy. <laughs> Noah Answorth and Jackson Pryor. So Answorth comes in, Pryor's out. The Tigers, that's a lot of outs. It's just the Jack Graham one hurts. They've got so the many injuries. Hurts. Morris really literally snapped his leg in half against the uh, Tigers. They just can't catch a break at the moment, the Tigers. All right. Tough one. Stats boy. Stats. Why not? Uh, Tigers lost the last six away matches. They've probably just lost a lot, of, a lot of matches in general. And then they've lost the last four meetings at the Gabba. So no one really likes going to the Gabba. Gabba hasn't been the fortress as it has been in other years. Have they won there this year? Uh, once I against think, Mel, did they beat Melbourne there? No, it's at the G. Or was that at the G? Well, actually, I we have to double check. Won they might not have won there yet, actually. Who would have thought that? Ten rounds and they haven't won at the Gabba. That is unbelievable. Beat Gold Coast there. Two yeah, okay. Two. I knew they. I knew they. Won Why would one. you bring that up, stuff, bro? <laughs> I said they've won one. So Why are right. you both on this show? This is horrible. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. Uh, last six meetings have gone over the total points, but this is the thirteenth versus the eighteenth offense in the league. So the over under is one sixty nine point five, which you'd automatically take if these two teams were like full strength. Yeah, but they're not. And it's a uh, and their forward line. Although to see Richmond scoring that much, yeah, yeah, Brisbane should put up a big score, but Richmond can't hold up there under the bargain. So the thing is, like Richmond, Brisbane, we've seen this. This was like what two finals, like the last couple of years yeah. and stuff like that. Well, maybe twenty twenty two. That was a big final. 21. Yeah, like it's just it's crazy to think that this Tigers team has fallen that far that quickly. Mm. But that's what happens. You win three flags. It happens. The idea happens. If I was a Richmond supporter, I'd take it. The big question here is like, how many goals did Brisbane win by? Mm. But also. Can they kickstart their season after the weird tie last week? Like, this could be the one little thing that Chris Fagan's men just springboard from, right? It's like score 150 well, or something. Yeah, we've uh, you know we tied against Adelaide last week in weird circumstances. We've lost a bunch of dudes. We've now steadied. We've gone back to the Gabba. We've mm-hmm. gone home. We've smashed Richmond by like 80, and away we go. Could be, yeah. You'd hope so. If not, they're cool. Uh, I'm going to go the Brisbane Lions by 61. Ooh. Lions by 46. 46. I'm going by 51. They're just all calling us smashing. Pour one out for the poor time. Oh, you, so you're saying Richmond covering the line there? Just. By, by half, by half. Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> all right. So Kilda Frio is the other <laughs> game. The Saints are two and a half point favorites, actually, against Frio at Marvel at 7.30 on Saturday. Saints are favorites. That's a joke. The over-under in this one, oh. 148.5. What is this? The Lion Bowl, bowl, bowl. Ross Lion Bowl. Ross yeah. Lion. Everybody's yeah. just a lot of bowls this week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves. You can Ross. make a bowl out of anything. Well, to be honest, Sydney Carlton. That's the David Reese Jones Bowl. Yeah. I love that. Let's go. Sure. <laughs> Brisbane hey, Lion. Spider Everett Bowl. Brisbane Richmond. Is that the Tom Lynch? The no, no, no. no. Like Adelaide, the other Tom Lynch. No, no. The Tom Lynch uh, VAR. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. the, uh, the, the Ark Bowl. That bowl. cost you the biggest multi bowl, which cost me the five dollars into like one thousand and fifty out of nowhere, breaking yeah. my heart. <laughs> anyway, uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about Saints Free. <laughs> <Saints. laughs> the Ross Lion Bowl. The Ross Lion Bowl. The, I love that the over under is a one forty eight point five. It's like <laughs> Jesus. It is one forty eight is so low. That is so low. That oh is my God. absolutely brutal. Uh, but they also have Euro Euroc and Wally are up for yeah, that's the cool. team names. So in for Euro Euroc, Cooper Sharman, Paddy Dow, my beloved Paddy Dow. Look at Anthony Caminiti. That's a big in. I, I, like, I like him, yeah. Zach Jones. Is it a big in? Yeah, they Lance Collard and Matthias Philippou. Out goes Hasty, Ross, Stoker, Membry. Member, Member, Bray. And uh, <laughs> Jack Hayes and Hugo Garcia. That is a tough one. Actually, there's a lot coach. of – they dropped Jack Hayes. Yeah. He was. He got yeah, something out. Yeah, but – Membry being managed is pretty funny, especially against Freo. They have no changes against uh, for Wally up. So yep. pretty good. You'll take that. I – Initially, have tipped the Saints. I really, I don't know about. I'm that. going to swing yeah. this back over around the other way. I think it's going to be really close. That's why I've sort of gone back and forth on it. But when you look at those ins and outs, I think it's probably a little bit too many moving parts for me. Uh, let's take out some stats here, stats boy. Yeah, I think uh, as you would say, there are going to be a lot of clamps in this game. That's why it's you want one to see some clamps. To get, bring some clamps. You got Ross Lyon, who's famous for just playing all that defense, and then you got Frio, who are the third best defense in the comp. So this is going to be a bit of a snore fest, I reckon. Saints, they've lost their last 11 matches against teams who are higher on the ladder. So that's Whoa. another little funny stat because they can just they just get nervous. Oh, crap, they're a bit higher on us on the ladder. We're going to get smashed. So 
I don't know why they're favourites. Yeah. Big question: the Ross Lyon Bowl. Should the loser have to just keep Ross as their coach? <laughs> For goes like, oh, oh, we yeah. wanted to win. We tried. It's like too bad, Justin Long. We yeah, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> imagine they said to Swan. I think <laughs> that would make Frio play better if they knew that was exactly on the line. Yeah. Yeah. my point. It's like we're going to win. Yeah. We're going to win. <laughs> that guy sucked. That's why we fired him. Uh, oh, that's funny. Frio of the better team. Yeah, yeah. They've had a great. They've really shocked me this season. At Marvel, they haven't been too bad as well. Yeah. I believe. I think it's and five and five or five and six. Yeah, it's not as last, bad like, as you'd make you might think. For a needed a half over. to get over North though. Yeah, that we were up at thirty-two. Yeah. That was a bit of a worry, but then we got smashed anyway. So. Three zero by six. I Classic. think this is the clamps. Yes, yeah. boy. Uh, I'm gonna go Dockers by forty. This is my yeah pretty big call that we'll get into later. I think they're gonna absolutely smash them. I just. Saints have been horrible. They should not be favorites in this yeah. game just because it's at Marvel and they, they sometimes play okay there, but they've been really bad. They've dropped off, the, off a cliff since last season. Where, what, are, what is their record again? Three and six. Three and six, and the yeah, Dockers are playing really well. Their midfield's going to absolutely dominate. Like so. the Saints literally just lost to Hawthorne exactly. last week, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You didn't even yeah, tip yeah, them, yeah, yeah. so you can't say anything. I never tip Hawthorne. <laughs> Saints beat North before that, lost to Power, lost to the Dogs. It's what, yeah, what are we basing this on? So I'm going Freo. Yeah. Uh, Leo? Yeah, Frio by about four goals. And just also, Saturday night is a perfect night to just watch a film or just do anything else. <laughs> or go to a concert. Game. As I said, well, I'm going to a gig, so it's like, let's just... Have we'll a date night. That's guy, find a date. Uh, we'll, we'll do, mate. Anyone we'll out do. there, just give him a call. That's <laughs> Find him on Twitter. That's what. <laughs> Slide in the DMs. <laughs> Sunday, Essendon, North Melbourne. Oh, poor one out for Stats Boys Ruse. Clarko Ball. Uh, They're going to fire up the Clarko Ball, <laughs> Stats Boy. Uh, uh, the Bombers are 48 and a half point favorites in this one, which feels even a little bit unders, but you yeah. did almost beat them last year. Twice. We both were under a goal last year, which uh, this annoyed is me. Marvel at 1.10 p.m. on Sunday. Prime the time. <laughs> the over under is 178 and a half. That feels like it's a bit under. I feel like this could be pretty wide open, yeah. free flowing, under the Marvel roof. Yeah. classic game. Jakey Stringer barrels it in for like four goals and contract year. Contract year Stringer. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I remember when I kicked six goals against. It was against North, wasn't it? String Jake, Jake. He's like, yeah, so I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, here's five years. <laughs> yeah, here's five years. You're going to be 30 five years. Five years, five How old is he? <laughs> Ten-year contract. All right. Stats, boy, stats. Oh, I don't like reading that North stats, but I will anyway. Ro Ruse. I was going to say Ross because we were talking about so much Ross. Ruse lost their last 10 meetings with the Bombers. I literally said to Leo before, I can't remember the last time we've been the Bombers. Sort of like you. I, I was you not listening. Four. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't four. Last win was in 2016. That was, I think, so you were four? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was at least 18. I was 18. Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not good Ruse against the Bombers. Just a horrible record. And then each of the Bombers' last five games of at Marvel have gone under the total points, That's which surprised me. Surprised me, yeah. So Oh, they've gotten better defensively, have they? Yeah. Is it just because they're playing maybe better opponents that they make the game defensively? Well, they last week opposition. they only let um, GWS score 62 points. But so the defenses, Giants are a great team. They make the game defensively and Essendon possibly, possibly. won the game. Yeah, the game also just ground to a standstill in that last quarter. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a bit of a strange one. But remember, Essendon are the best team in the AFL right now <laughs> and I'm backing them to the hilt to win the title. So we're going. They're going to be world champions. World they're champions. Like champions like the, the NBA all world good. champions. <laughs> no, I love Essendon at the moment. Yep. You know, what are they? They haven't lost in, is it six weeks? They lost to Is that court. right? I do you love time. Essendon, though? I do love That's Essendon. What he, I'm backing them to the hilt, Leo. That's his thing. That's why his don't thing. you believe me? I'm Because it's Essendon. I am clearly one of the most <laughs> Carlton Essendon fan you'll ever find. It's amazing. Look at this smirk. <laughs> <We'll> smirk. <laughs> He's he not said, Italian smirking. enough for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last time they lost was at Gatherant. Oh, we oh that's when Essendon. they were horrible. Well. Since then, so they've the tied. Adelaide game? Yeah. The only other thing is they're tied with the Pies, so... They are the best team in the AFL. <laughs> Sorry, Swans, but Essendon's here. Uh, the big question, can the Roos give us an honourable loss? Jim, that's all I've been dreaming about for the whole year. <laughs> that's sad that you're dreaming. How sad is that? Weird. How sad is that? Well, we've lost almost every yeah, game by 40 like, plus. Just like the Hawks, for example, I've had a couple of games where they go, all right, the Hawks are yeah, showing I, something. We have not shown anything <laughs> for a full game. Get give me something. Up. Give me something. Look down the camera. Clark, get you're fired fight if you get lose by more than 50 in this game, I reckon. <laughs> get out of town. You going to take over? Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, I'll do a better job. In I'll, I'll drop Simkin and McDonald's. Stats guy ball. <laughs> yes. In comes Dylan Shield, Nick Bryan, Nate Caddy for uh, the Bomb Rays. Uh, oh, I, I just realised how much you've tipped here. Sorry. I'm, yeah, I was going to say. Oh, my God. Jai, Jai Simkin, Miller Bergman, Curtis Taylor. I don't even know who half these dudes are. <laughs> oh, Curtis Taylor's back. That's he's beautiful. Not good. Toby Pink. No, he's good. He's Dylan Stevens. Jeez. He's finally back. <laughs> Zane Dersma coming in well because they lose Kobe, Colby McKercher. They lose Will Phillips. 
because they went, eh, dropped. I, Will Phillips getting dropped is a joke. <laughs> really He's a bit yeah. stiff. Curtis Taylor genuinely will help our forward line a Curtis lot. Taylor is He's a good not player. good. He's a good player. I'm standing by that. He's going <laughs> to kick three. All right, Essendon by 150. 150? <laughs> 150. 150. <laughs> If I'm not doing the show, I'm, I'll be the footy on Sunday. I'm not doing the show Sunday night if we lose by more than 100. Oh, I reckon. I'm I'm not 150 coming in. was like a bit of a joke because I reckon they turn up. No, go 150. Why not? Let's go, Andy. <laughs> and that's not even his big call. It's amazing. <laughs> the, the tricky part is I don't quite believe this because, yeah, North can score ish at times. Oh, not and this Essendon year. have shown tendencies to like open the floodgates a little bit the other way. Not so much the last few weeks, show. Though, so we'll see how we go. Uh, Stats boy. Uh, Bombers by 50. All right. Leave it at that. <laughs> Please. Bombers me... by 34. 30, 34? I would 34. take 34. That's not an honourable loss. Five goals. Is How much is an honourable loss? 30 or less? Three goals or less. Three goals? Oh, yeah, that's maybe an four goals. Four, four goals. goals. All right, all right. Yeah, if you're down heaps and you pull it all the way back to four. Uh, I'm going to be down by one. Or if you're up and you still end up losing. But <laughs> I think the crazy part is, so Leo's beloved Hawks are about to talk about they looked absolutely horrible the first, what, five weeks? Oh, probably? it was only the Melbourne and Gold Coast game. And then, yeah. they, like, the honourable losses then finally. Then some honourable wins. actual wins, yeah. and away you go. Mm. So now Sam Mitchell's sitting there going, we've won three games. This is great. It's pretty good. Speaking of which, let's do it. Port Adelaide versus Hawthorne. Let's the go. power. They've got the power to win. The power to be favourites by 31 and a half points. <laughs> and, geez, Adelaide will be rocking 3, 3.20 on <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Over under is one seventy point five. Interesting. What is it? Yarta Pulte for Yarta Pulte. Yeah, yep. Yarta Pulte for Port. They have named Connor Rosie. C Rosie. Surely great right for my give super him, coach. Give him a rest. No, Jordan no. Sweet, Ken. Jace Burgoyne as well. Sweet's awesome for your super coach oh, teams. Awesome. Happy days. But they've kept Vicentini in. Ooh, well, well, this is the extended bench, extended extended bench for your Sundays. Oh, Hawthorne, like Ethan that. Phillips makes his debut. Leo, excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't get I mean, so he's a key defender. He's, he's like, in my super coach, so I'm happy. No, I'm, I'm excited to see him play. You've got Marbio Chol coming back as well, feasibly. Bailey McDonald. CJ. CJ's CJ. a huge That's He only good. played three quarters last week in the VFL. I love so watching Jaff, yeah. I'm worried they've rushed him back. Three quarters. And Ooh. Max Ramsden too. So out go Scrimshaw and Gunston. So... Phillips has been named to make his debut, which is very cool. Cool. Yep. And especially if you've kept him on your super coach pants because he's super so I cheap. have as well, yeah, for some <laughs> nice. reason. Yeah. And you cool. absolutely meant to do that because yeah. you knew he was going to play. All right, Stats so yeah. Boy, give us some stats. Well, uh, last time I think Leo, would talk, Leo and I were talking about this, it was an absolute shootout, the biggest score of the whole year last season, 151 to 96. Nice. Like the old school sort of footy. It was 97 to 16 was at one 97 point. To, and it was 138 <laughs> to 43 at one point. <laughs> so that game was just chaos, and it, it would be awesome if that, that could uh, repeat No, no. Well, not for, not awesome. for Hawks fans, but just would be pretty crazy. So one of the other names in there is not Sicily, right? Yeah, Sicily's not Sicily's back. Sicily's not no, back. No. He doesn't like South Australia. He's like, as look, well as if we're going to build up this new contract, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Only like, no, big no. games. Only it's going to no, no. come down to not even Marvel. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even like saying like I don't want to go to another team when I say I don't want to leave where I am right now. Yeah, he's going to play. He's going to play his just, local park. He's just going to train just at Waverley, and that's it. Nice. He has a sleeping bag away. Right, other ones. Go, Stats Boy. Uh, Power, they've won 21 of their last 22 day games. Oh, that Adelaide. fills me with hope. Bit of a funny stat there. And then Hawks, two and six in the last five seasons. Adelaide, Adelaide Oval. They were actually pretty valiant, valiant effort against Collingwood, Gather Ram, that we, uh, you yep. and Alex were at. So that, they had a really good but comeback. That's different. That's another Vic team. That's not playing it. That's true. So, uh, so yeah, they don't have a good record uh, at the Adelaide Oval. They were electric in that game against Collingwood. They were. Get them in the second half. Get yeah, them in the second half, yeah. like when we were there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we spurred them on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> the game ended. You guys are like, I thought it was halftime. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the second half? Just full of pies and tins. We're talking to hockey uh, before that. Big question here. Can we see the best looking matchup in history? Finn yeah, McGuinness like, yeah, tagging. I reckon. C, Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> they both get three votes in the handsome department. That's for sure. Yeah. I actually don't mind that. That's a great big question. Uh, tips margin, Port by 41. I think they're just a little bit too potent for your guys there, Leo. Yeah, I think Port by about six goals. Hawthorne, two wins in a row, both just sort of scraping by. Yeah. Probably back down to earth. Back yeah, down to earth, back down earth is the exact perfect yeah. phrase. I'm going to go good. by 28. I've been pretty impressed by the Wiz and the Hawks, mm. so I'm going to go by 28. Port nice Adelaide. I'll keep it pretty close. Finally, go out west. West Coast versus Melbourne. Minus 29.5 point favorites are the D's. That checks out. Optus Stadium, 6.20 p.m. Uh, hoping this is a smashing because we'll be doing the Sunday night show probably at <laughs> halftime for this game. Quarter time, fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. Fingers crossed. Go. Uh, the over-under is 168.5 and this is a really, really strange one because the Eagles have at least 
up until last week when they came over to Melbourne to play. A lot of injuries. At Marvel against the Pies. Mm. The Pies had sort of just found a nice little streak of form. They're on a hiding to nothing. Going home against the Demons, maybe it's a little bit different. Maybe it's more of the same. The thing is they don't name Yo, so we don't get any Yo. <laughs> yo. But we do get Jake Waterman, the, the Water J Train. The is back. The J Train, exciting times. Andrew Gaff. Watch out. Uh, Jermaine Jones, <laughs> Harry Edwards, Joe Cully, Petricelli and Harvey Johnson out as well. In for the Demons, uh, Shane McAdam, Christian Salem, Adam Tomlinson, Fullerton, Tholstrup. I love Colton Tholstrup. Isn't he from over there as well? Yep, Tholstrup? I think so. He is. Yeah. That is such like, a good name. They flew like, his entire like, family out for his debut, right? Yeah. Oh, my favorite. Well, they were over here for his debut. <laughs> yes. Uh, and Ben Brown. I love Ben Brown. Interesting. I miss, I miss him. Ed Langdon, Roo, and Daniel Turner are all out as well. I just realized Harvey Johnson omitted. Yeah. And he was the one that got touched by the uh, I also put face. The Collingwood fan. Instead of omitted. Yeah, I yeah, told you touch. Did, did the Collingwood do, fan do something to him, Jim? Omitted. He laced touched, him. No, omitted. It should have then. Touched by a Collingwood fan. Touched by a Collingwood fan. <laughs> we don't know where any They need of them to put him on the injury list. And it's, <laughs> just, it's just unknown. <laughs> it's like being touched by a Collingwood fan. I don't know if you've ever seen train spotting. <laughs> There's a toilet scene. I love there. to watch just, trains. Just watch the <laughs> No, I've seen that. <laughs> the toilet scene. Ah, uh, God. <laughs> anyway, no, look, Stats Boy, give us some stats. Why not? Why not? Why not? That, why <laughs> not? He's saying, why not? I'll tell you the second time I've said it. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, I'll be. oh, we'll count them up. Get a, get a why not count up. <laughs> Demons, they've won uh, last three meetings at Optus by an average of 49 points. They've had a lot of smashings there the last couple of seasons. And then West Coast, they've had a sold. Oh, I was going to say that's not a stat. That's just talking about their injuries, which <laughs> I'm very happy that Waterman's back in for the uh, the Eagles. I think that's a huge in and can make this a bit closer. So they keep Harley Reid in the team. Yeah, um, that's good. You know, it's. Cool. Keep him rolling. You'll have a buy soon. Away we go. Uh, the big question here is, what happens? Will the entire AFL world <laughs> explode if Harley Reid stiff arms Christian Petrarca? Oh, they might have to change their profile like picture Twitter and things like down. that. Yeah. Like the AFL headquarters just might melt down. Like it's just like, Harley Reid! <laughs> just <laughs> like everything just self-combusts. It's, like, it's over. Uh, weird game. I think Eagles get smashed again. I've got yep. Melbourne by 62. I've just sat at 62 for most of these games. Yeah, how many of you said 60? You just like it's it's either 61 or 62. I think I've got four of the well, games. Well I think so. Sydney are winning by 62. You should change your S and one to 162. 162. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, Demons killed them, I think. Yeah. Poor one out for poor West Coast. Look, they'll make a fist of it early, but then I think the D's run right over the top of them and yep. extend it out. And it's like you sort of sit there, it's like that twilight over there kind of game. We're like, now she's sad. Oh God. <laughs> It's like, stop it. They're already dead. We yeah. get it. Uh, stats boy? Uh, Melbourne by 44. They don't have a forward line to bag enough goals to kick. I don't think a, Do you a send 60 Petrarca point. forward again? And I, even kick six? I think for super coach, yes. Yeah. Well, sort of, yeah. He kicked five last week or six, so he can kick this week. Yeah, they don't have enough goal kickers, I don't think, to have a massive margin, but I'm going to go by 44. All right, Leo. I think 71 point demon Ooh. victory. I just think they do have the forwards against nah. against this West against Coast Against this team, team maybe, yeah. you got McGovern. Gecko Hands McGovern down there. Gecko Hands. Yeah, that's, that's, that's his nickname. Yeah, that's his nickname. Isn't that why they brought Brent, Ben Brown in? Just to like, you know? Yeah, but he's been horrible last year. Ben Brown in roof. The decoy, yeah. Oof. Yeah, maybe. All right, big calls for the weekend ahead. Oh, this is the week that Heaney wins the brown, though. He's got an insurmountable lead already by round 10. He's on wow. 30 vote. No. Uh, I think there could be a massive, massive Heaney man game here. 35-plus touches, two-plus goals, three votes. Fair. And you have that moment of, like, when we get to this game in the brown low count, he's already maybe, like, best on ground for three or four games. And you're like, hang on. Is he on like 15 votes already by round 10? Are this we could on be a like boring more? Brown though, Ken, if that's going to be the case. It's like he's yeah. been very, he very been awesome. good. He's had like one or two quiet games in there, but mm. the games he's been good, he's been really mm. good. So I think in terms of the way that Carlton look at this and they go, oh, do we send – Does like, Shewitt go to him? We would, like they had Kennedy like, try to shut down yeah. uh, Petrarca last week and it worked for the first half and then he, that's why they sent him forward and it nearly won them the game. So the Heen man, I think the way that he's playing, unstoppable, I think – what we've seen from Carlton at times as well, obviously I bang on about this, Carlton fan. You watch all these games, you're like just the rebounding through the guts, just the lack of defensive accountability for their like mids. Heen Man is the exact dude who can, and Goulden obviously, who can just tear you right up. So I think it's a really, really big Heen Man game right now. Heen Man. 
Stats boy. Uh, I'm going for 40 plus. I already mentioned that against uh, Ross's old club. He's going to get him sacked. And you said they might, might have to swap uh, coaches or something like that. Wait, so is your big call that he's getting sacked? Uh, yeah. If in, the next, okay. in the next couple, in the next month and a half, I reckon he could because the Saints are underperforming massively. They made the finals last year. They're going to lose a lot of games against Maybe teams they that overperformed last year. Isn't this only his second year? <laughs> Just get him out of there. He's, he's all. I mean, I'm all for yeah, it yeah. because I was yelling about this on Sunday. <laughs> to be show. fair, I don't think he's going to get sacked because the Saints are. Well, so out. now you're going back on your big but, call. But I think he should get sacked. That's my big call. Right. Your big call is your opinion. Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's a, that's a call. Yeah. That's certainly that's a call. His, Jim's opinion is that Heaney will win the Brown. Uh, that's Leo. not an opinion. That's more fact. <laughs> it is fact based because he's going to win it. Uh, I think, yeah, I like it though. Sats Boy's big non call is like, oh, I think he should be sacked, but he won't be. <laughs> No, because Saints are too cowardly to sack oh, someone. Your big call is Ross Lyon keeps his All right, job. All right, fine. Ross Lyon will be sacked in the next month. There you go. That's it. Ross Lyon, we got there. job we got there. for life. All right, good job. No, get him out of there. Leo. Uh, both teams will score over 100 p- points between North and Essendon. You're bagging my big call. That is, that's not going to happen. What do you mean, Matt? We, also, we need to get a big call right because I don't think we've got one right <laughs> all teams. No, I, I think if you went through the archives, we've got at least 60% right. Oh, yeah, sure. But this <laughs> one's going to happen. I reckon Essendon will get like 136, North 102. I will take that. So it'll it just be back 105, and 99 last year. And Essendon. Yeah, North. yeah, yeah. It was similar. The, the, I we played them twice a, last year. Yeah. There's one fourteen sixty six in twenty twenty two. There was another I one. I can't last remember. Year. See the other. Oh, there we go. Seventy seven eighty six. The other one. So that's what I reckon. This call yeah. there, right now. Nice like one. not. I just I reckon it'll just be ping pong. Okay. All right. Don't mind. Things to keep an eye on during round ten. GWS. They need to win. <laughs> they do. Yeah, against the dogs. They were essentially your premiership favourites very early on. <clears throat> yep. And have now lost three or four. They need to win. Let's go. Or is it this Lions one? I just said, surely it's going to be a big game for the Lions offense. They're playing Richmond mm. and beat up Richmond. They haven't mm. fought an offense other than playing North. This, but, is, this is like a classic Hipwood, like five goals. Yeah, or Danaher or something like that. He and if they don't... Gives it to the media or something. If they <laughs> don't fire up in this game, that's just embarrassing. Joey Danaher, to be honest, it should be... <laughs> I'm going to die of it. <laughs> it's the dust. <laughs> Jim, just at least survive it's until the, the end of the show. It's the, the dust. dust is chaos. <laughs> There's no dust in <laughs> Big Danaher game. He's been just dragged all week. Yep, yeah. yep right. fair. Uh, and then what's this last one? Oh, not, yeah, I want to say this one. Uh, just something to not keep an eye on, not St. Kilda versus Frio or Lions versus Tigers. So <laughs> to keep an eye on. Yeah. Just is not to keep an eye going on. Going out on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, go yeah. out. Yeah. I like it. Have yeah. a few tins. Yeah. i got a gig to go to with the Crocs then. And uh, right near the Welcome to Thornbury, obviously. They've yep. got lots of big screens there. You can watch the footy. Go across to the gig whenever you want. Just tell them to off the footy. It's like, <laughs> I want to just go to the gig Get early. Get some Downton Abbey on. Or just, stand, <laughs> just stand there and look at an empty stage. Downton just like, Abbey. Whatever. This is better. Nah, this should be good. Look, to be honest, Saints Frio tough. Lions Tigers it should at least be entertaining up there at the Gabba for Brisbane. Hopefully. Ooh. So, all right. Super coach tips, vibes, thoughts. VC captain vibes. Oh, we haven't talked about that. Yeah. I'm VCing Dacos into Gorn the other way around from last time because Gorn plays West Coast over there. I'm not sure. Uh, and Dacos has the the Crows obviously at the G Saturday early afternoon. Uh, Walsh versus Sydney is another one for me. Mm. Interestingly, I don't know about that one though. Because Sydney might just, uh, I mean, he had a really big game against them last year. They still got smashed, but I don't know. I just really trust Dacos. He's playing really, really well at the moment. So there's your vice, Captain Loophole. Why not? Uh, other ones, obviously, McKercher and Roberts out this week. Tough one. Yeah. C. Rose like... comes back in. Yep. Garcia's out as well. So that's a lot of bench <laughs> yep. stuff for folks. Uh, Jack Carroll, though, cheapo right there. Got to keep out an eye for that Harley Reid. What is it, 133? 134, 134, 134, 134, break, break even. even. I, think, so I think he's out for me. Most traded out player, mm, I think, I'm this holding. Week. Really? Hoddle? Because if, even if he does have a down week, he's he should bounce back in a few weeks, I think. 30,000 people have traded him out now. I think is, he's, he's going to fluctuate. I think he's going to go down, but then he's going to go back up again. Yeah, okay. I've double upgraded with uh, Rankine and Nick Martin. Uh, oh, he's brought back Nick Martin. Of course I have. That means he's going to go bad again, don't Did you again? boost? <laughs> No, I didn't boost. Because you have none left. No, I've got one left. <laughs> I Where do you boost. get boost? I keep getting boost. Boost. <laughs> boost. I love the boost, but I haven't used my last one. I'm just keeping the back pocket. Oh, I'm going to see if it rolls over to next year. Uh, <laughs> but obviously, Zorko is the other big one where... I think you got to choose him over Rankin, but... Because... I can't. I he has a more reliable role. Clear cut. He has a more reliable role. It is. It's more. You, you can trust Zorko. You can't trust Rankin. You no. can trust Zorko. That's not a sentence anyone. Oh, not, not as a human. Not, not as a human. human. He's a horrible. Or for person. his injury history, he's thirty-five. He's got these calves and 
Is like he hammers 35? I think so. Like oh made of God. absolute just grass. Oh, like maybe 32. I don't know. I'm just making it up. But he is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what that is. He's, he's, he's 35. He's oh 35. my God. <laughs> Jim from downtown. Jim he goes bang. <laughs> How did you get that? The greatest footballing mind of the country right here. Thank you very much. Luke Ryan's obviously, he's not going to get any cheaper than he is right now, no. probably for the next two months. So it's a really tricky he's sort still of position. Still very expensive. Though. He's extremely expensive. 666. Six, six. Uh, it's going to be hard for him to drop below that sort of 666. Uh, I thought about Whitfield as well in defense yeah. mm. because they lose Ash. They the don't teams have, have worked out. They've been trying to tag him. They've tagged him out of games though. Yeah. So I actually, yeah, that's why I went with Martin instead because he's playing the ruse and could get 80 touches. So yeah. <laughs> have 400. I'm happy if we have 80 touches as a team, honestly. All right. Any other <laughs> thoughts, VC, seek vibes? Quick, I'm quick, VCing quick. Took Miller tonight in Ooh. terms of day costs. Just one, a bit different. I'm ranked really low, so... I've got to do something, got to change something up. different. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to go VC Dacos and then Captain Sarong. He's been the most consistent. I think a lot of people haven't been captaining him and then he's just pulling off 150s every yep. two weeks. So I'm going to Captain Sarong. If he was not Saints. playing over here, yeah. that's where they are, right? Against the Saints. He's going to rack up touches wherever he is. I don't really like that as much. So. Fair enough. Anyway, just remember. He's just saying he hates you. Basically. Yeah, I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go, though. That's it. Supercoach set up for round 10. You can also listen to all the official Supercoach podcasts. Yes. Uh, all the good stuff there. But that is it for AFL today for this week until we are back on Sunday night to wrap up your entire round 10. I love that we're in double digits. It's where the real fans just stick in and just get dug in and just go footy, 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 footy. <laughs> uh, but thank you once more to the Ding Guy for jumping on. We've got Leo over there. Well done, Leo. Thank you, King Dingus. King of the Ding King Guy. King Dingus. <laughs> that means you are a Dingus, though. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> We're not going to argue. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What are you talking about? And the Stats Boy. Thank Thanks. you, Stats Thank boy. you very much, Jim. Hopefully right. we don't lose by 150. It'd be go, funny if you did. Go north. <laughs> I'm going to take the world's biggest victory lap if you do lose by 150. Oh. Uh, remember to smash a like for the AFL Today Show across all of your socials. You can see us doing lots of stuff. I uh, got the power rankings, all the fun, dumb stuff, the goal of the week of the year. Yep. Which is always fun, the mark of the week of the year. Uh, across Facey, IG, Threads, X, TikTok, YouTube, all the good stuff right there. Subscribe, star, and like all of our shows, in fact. What on your podcast apps as well as all those ones? What do we got? The Cricket Today podcast, the Football Today podcast, NBA Australia, and hold all tickets for your GGs. Get around all of them. Like, I want to say Jim Stein's getting around a gnarly Brownlow. Brownlow. He won a Brownlow, yes. Yeah. Last is Ruckman to win a Brownlow. Pretty remarkable. Yeah. Like, he and Scott wind. Incredible gear. He's for Irish. Ruck yeah. Ruckman to go out there and just win. Bloody brand low. How good is that? Anyway, get around it like that. And that's it. We'll catch you on Sunday night to wrap up your round 10. That's been AFL Today. Remember, look after yourselves. And 40's back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.